Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study the differences between the plant and animal cell. We have discussed each cell organelle in detail. I hope you have watched all the videos on these organelles and basing upon that we will be writing the differences. First difference we will be writing in plant cell that cell wall is present and here the first point will be cell wall is absent. Here you will be writing that extra chromosomal DNA. Extra chromosomal means other than the chromosomes. Okay. So chromosomes they are generally found in the nucleus. But other than the chromosomes if DNA is being found in a cell it is extra chromosomal. Extra chromosomal DNA is more. Remember, whenever you are writing the points of differences between the plant and the animal cell or any differentiation, okay, whatever you are talking in a specific point, the other side also it should be same. Like here, if I am writing for extra chromosomal DNA, I should not write for anything else. My point should be related to that. So here, extra chromosomal DNA will be less. Why it would be less? Because here in the case of plant cell, mitochondria will have the extra chromosomal DNA along with that chloroplast will also have the DNA. That's why they are semi-autonomous but here only mitochondria will be there. That's why the extra chromosomal DNA will be less. Now the third point here will be vacuoles are bigger in size bigger in size and here we will be writing vacuoles are smaller in size smaller in size now next point will be remember we are writing for plant cell here on the left side and animal cell here on the right side. We will be writing some more differences. This is very important question. So, it should be clear. In this case, centrosomes are absent and what we are going to write in the animal cell, we will be writing that centrosomes are present right next thing what we are going to write is that golgi body is known as dictyosomes dictyosome but here golgi body has not been given another name. So here no alternative name has been given to the Golgi body. Next difference in the case of plant cell will be here you will be writing that plastids are present. In the case of animal cell you are writing that plastids are absent. Next difference in the case of plant cell will be nucleus is towards periphery. Periphery means boundary and here in the case of animal cell nucleus is present at the center of the cell. Now in such type of questions if you are not drawing the diagram it will lead to deduction of marks. So our last point will be the 
making of the plant cell remember when you will make the plant cell you need to show few components that are specifically present in the plant cell so first of all you will be making the cell wall then you will make the plasma membrane i am writing in short this is cell wall the blue colored layer is the plasma membrane or the cell membrane then we have a large vacuole in the center so this is the vacuole there should be no spelling mistake once you are making or labeling this is the nucleus which is present towards the periphery okay and you can show plastids as well so you can make the chloroplast here like this and make some coin like structure it will be clear to the examiner that you have drawn so this is chloroplast characteristic features are seen in this diagram because we have made the cell wall we have made a bigger size vacuole we have made the chloroplast we have shown the peripheral nucleus or the nucleus present towards periphery along with this we can also make a smaller mitochondria so these many structures should definitely be there once you are making the diagram whereas in the case of animal cell we will just be making the plasma membrane along with that we will be making the nucleus which will be there in the center and remember to make it in this way this is the nucleus for complete clarity you can watch out the video on nucleus once again chromatin nucleolus then the base material as nucleoplasm that i am coloring as yellow and labeling i am not going to do you can watch out the video on nucleus it will be clear to you now this is endoplasmic reticulum and this is rough endoplasmic reticulum so this is r e r and another side you can also make s e r s e r is always the smooth endoplasmic reticulum then you can also make golgi body like this a structure close to the nucleus okay now and these are are the vacuoles okay you can make mitochondria as well one or a two so this is mitochondria some cell organelles should definitely be seen the green colored structure here is lysosome so whenever a question comes in the exam to differentiate you are required to draw the diagram now the question for this video is what is this organelle name which is being encircled by pink color okay so you are required to write the name of this cell organelle in the comment section of this video i will be sharing few i buttons in this video so that if you have not watched the video on er mitochondria golgi body then you should have a look at them first and then you should come up at this topic i hope you have understood the differences between the plant and the animal cell in case of any query you can reach out to me on my email id that is being given in the description the students who will be giving the correct answer to my question their names will be taken in the upcoming video thank you for being the wonderful audience stay connected like this i'll be back with some more videos